hello Aries, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general your general love reading for uh, August. Uh, feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading, it is time stamped. So if you click in the description bar below, see where it says start reading, click on that and that will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. Uh, so like I said, we're going to take a look and see just who's showing up in your reading. See what they're thinking. Um, take a peek into what they're thinking, what they're feeling regarding this situation. Of course, vice versa as well. And we'll see where this moves to. Um, any challenges. Um, and just get some insight into what's going on here. I will clarify these cards off, off camera, guys. So um, let me just take these in and I'll be back. Okay, so Aries, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and pick it up as uh, this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always, you can always switch flip whatever side just kind of resonate the most all right so you're showing up as the lovers currently this is the state that you're in there's a strong uh physical uh, attraction that you both have towards each other uh, a lot of chemistry as well there's it's interesting because for some of you there could be a difference within the both of you but there's still a lot of similarity so there's something that possibly could be very different that could be anything maybe from where you was raised or how you was raised or maybe religion or uh, some form of uh, difference there at the moment you're trying to kind of give there's something that you've got enough of with that six of pentacles there there's this given element uh, coupled with that queen of cups sorry the queen of pentacles which talks about you having feeling like you've already established or you've established something so whatever it is that you're given could be finances for some of you it could be just maybe emotional support it could be time uh, some form of resources that you have enough of that you've established yourself in in order for you to be able to uh, give what's interesting though is at the same time there is that queen of swords so you are a bit guarded there is a guardedness there and i feel like it's tied to the shadow card uh, the shadow side which could be due to i feel like how do i put that how do i put that how do i put that um certain things or feelings or thoughts or ideas that you're finding a bit uncomfortable facing looking at digesting uh, feeling even um i feel it's it how do i put that it's at the tip of my tongue it's like you're i'm just gonna say that maybe scared of how you feel scared of your feelings scared of your emotions and that's quite a bit uncomfortable uh, for you to acknowledge the realness of how you feel about this person uh, the feelings and uh, that you have for the towards this person but there is something around you wanting to communicate communication communication that's in the intention for them they seem to be focusing on things that are not going well um not going right we've got the four of cups there even though the you know when we're talking about the four of cups we're talking about Yes, we've got three cups that are spilled, but there is this one remaining cup that's still standing. But the focus is very much on the cups that have, have been spilled, the things that are not going right, the things that were not said, the things that are just not turning out the way uh, that they would like. Uh, negativity, uh, ultimately. But they are thinking, it's like they're trying to put a plan of action together, um, be strategic in terms of just how they move or handle this. They ha they do have this idea. There's this idea that they feel pretty good about. Aries, there is this idea that they feel um, pretty good about, which they're they're wanting to act on. I'm not sure for some of you they could already be acting on it or haven't acted on that. Um, but for some of you, it's this wanting to act on on this idea. There is the hyphen card there, so there is this feeling of commitment, commitment here. Um, but on top of that, we have that hermit card, which talks about processing, analyzing, digesting, going within ultimately to ask yourself those important, those important questions. Because in the past, it seems like 
you, for you, it's like you try, you wanted, your focus was coming out on top and getting on top of, 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 of something. Um, we do have that five of pentacles there, which talks about a change, uh, there being a change or an awareness of there having been a change in some way, uh, which, have, which is, I don't want to use the word disconnected because it's not a disconnection, it's just maybe a shift, a shift which is created maybe a bit of space between the both of you um but you wanting to act on that we've got the uh knight of of swords there swiftly as well uh, a lot of passion of desire to be able to do that because we have that high priestess card there so this feeling of this person you and this person you and this person having a deep a deep connection a deep spiritual connection sometimes that soulmate type of connection um, twin flame, if you believe in that type of thing, something that you're needing to process, uh, but at the same time, not wanting to acknowledge something because your focus is on the bigger picture. Your focus is on the bigger picture. Yeah. Something around the bigger picture, the bigger picture. Yes. I see certain things, but the bigger picture. Yeah. This person was Something around transformation, change. We've got the death card there. You know, the death of something, uh, but at the same time with the death, there's the rebirth. There's a rebirth in. So signifies transformation. Something around transformation. We've got the uh, focus uh, being on the six, which talks about, you know, long term, maybe even childhood. So there could be something tied to childhood and transformation for this person, which they found quite challenging challenging with that nine there but still sticking in the game still standing or holding on or you know still uh, standing uh, but finding it very challenging uh, determined uh, focused on um yeah this transformation or something tied to this transformation this transformation caused this person to uh, halt uh, stop with the hangman there, something around stop, halted, putting the brakes on something, the brakes on maybe the progress of this relationship, yeah, so this person possibly slowed down, slowed, de slowed down, which makes sense, which would have made sense regarding that transformation, found it a bit frustration, found it a bit frustrating, um, because we do have, they also have that high priestess, spiritual connection soulmate but the, also the high priest which talks about again the high priest is the hereford which talks about commitment commitment so this person's going through this big change this transformation um possibly tied to their childhood uh, yeah possibly tied to their childhood uh, but at the, at the same time, like I said, this person is processing. It's something around, I, I get this sense of this person needing to work something out or go through some form of change tied to their childhood in order for them to embrace this hyphen. Um, yeah, because we do have that full card there, which talks about, you know, embarking on a new journey, a new chapter, an adventure towards that Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups talks about love. Yeah, the offering love, the feeling of love. But things need to, there's certain things that need to be worked out within this person, which they're kind of in at the moment. Yeah, which they're kind of in at the moment. You have the uh, two, so we do have this two. It's like there's a, a choice, a conscious choice that you've made in terms of how you deal with this, in terms of you giving something. Um, there is this feeling of justice around this for you. It's like you're pulling, mm, mm, no, back up. It's like you're, it's like, okay, I'm just going to des describe it the way I'm seeing it. It's like you're, there's a goal, uh, an aim, a target, let's say that, a goal, a destination. There we go. It's like there's a destination that you feel needs to happen, should happen. Um, which is where that justice card comes in and the king of, of, of pentacles there. And you're sticking, you're on path to making that happen. Um, you're sticking to that. 
you're sticking to that. And you made that, you made a conscious choice to do that as well. You made a conscious choice to do that. How quick this person goes through this transformation, how quick this person, if this person even gets that, you know, because this, again, this person is working through things, which is tied to this, you making sure you both continue this path while this person is feeling currently a bit negative about things, um, them going through this transformation that's tied to their childhood, them wanting or feeling like, you know, this is a higher commitment, but they're still needing to process things and work things out. Um, where does this lead? How, how quick does it lead to it? Uh, do you stick in, do you stick to the, uh, do you stay on path? Do you stay on path? So link is in this, we're going to move into the extended version of the reading, see where this kind of moves to. We do have the uh, magician card here in terms of your feelings. So there is going to be this level of um, belief that you could uh, do something. So let's, let's move into the extended version of the reading. Link is in the description bar below, guys, and I shall see you guys in a bit. Mm -hmm.